literally did not retouch my makeup I just got home but I wanted to do my monthly favorites because today's the 20 the 28th of November and I know that when I get home from work it's too late and all that good stuff let me just start with the video I want to I don't even know if my ring light is bright enough anyway it's another one but I have a couple of favorites that I wanted to share with you guys before I take off my clothes. I had a long day today at work. If you follow me on Snap or Instagram, you will know that I had like a job fair at my job. And I was like the host. And I posted it. And it was just exhausted. I want to post this tonight. Um, so, let's get started. Okay, guys. So, the first thing that I want to share with you guys, like I said, I have a couple. And I, I hope this video is not too too long <laughs> but anyway guys let me just show you guys um my monthly favorite for the month of november because we're about to be going into a new year very soon one more month and we're about to go into a new year can you believe that i'm telling you anyways um first thing first i'm going to tell you i only have one um well let me just start let me just talk. I talk so much. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little cheap and then I'm gonna go expensive. So the first thing that I want to share with you guys, um, lately I've been doing my brows. I've been not lately. I would say about three, four, five, six months now. I don't buy expensive brows, um, brow um, powders, any brow powders um, or brow palm pencil. I don't. I use N Y X. I paid, I think four ninety nine for this. It works just as the Anastasia benefits, whatever you guys use as expensive. I'm telling you, I used to be a big Mac, um, you know, and um, Anastasia, even though I do, I do get discount, but that's not the point, it's still expensive. Um, when you can use NYX for less than 10 bucks and it works the same. Um, the color that I'm using, that I use every day, I even buy these buy about three or four at a time, a lot. Um, this color is dark brown. And can you tell? Can you tell if I'm wearing an eye end or not? No. It's NYX. I love it. The last time I went, I bought like three of them. And I even bought this, the tester because they ran out. And I was like, listen. He was like, well, I'm just a brand new tester. I said, listen, I don't even care. Um, and YX. I don't know how you call it, NYX, NYX. Um, I'm talking too much, but anyway, that's because I had too much coffee this morning. <laughs> but anyway, guys, yeah, I love this. It comes with the brush. I used the dark brown and my brows from this morning. Okay? Love it. And I want to share is um, I got this from the Dollar Tree, guys, and it smells amazing. I bought about five of these. I keep them in my room because I love candles, um, especially at night. I I, I don't leave it on, but like if I'm getting like, you know, ready to wind down, I usually like to buy candles. So I never would have thought I would put this in my favorite from the Dollar Tree, but it's beautiful. Not only that it's a nice, cute little container, but it smells good. I bought about five, and when I went back to get more for my coworker, the lady said they only had got one box in my Dollar Tree. So this is the dark velvet. And like I said, it's, it smells so good. Very, very good. And for a dollar. And it smells... I don't know if it smells good in a large room. But for my room, it smells good. And this is what it looked like. This is the dark velvet from the Dollar Tree. Check it out, guys. Another thing that I've been loving, and I have about four or five of these. I use them in my bathroom, also in my makeup area, is these clear um, from the Dollar Tree. I put different things in them, um, cotton, cotton pads, um, but they look like these, this, and it's, I bought another one recently because they are so cute from the Dollar Tree. And, yeah, I wanted to, you know, share that because, you know, like I said, sometimes you go to, like, Target and you spend, like, $3.99 on Marshalls. And this is from the Dollar Tree and it's really, really, um, it's a, it's a good, it's, it's a good, it's not cheap from the Dollar Tree. 
Another thing that I want to share with you guys is this castor oil because I say this every time, every time, but my bangs, I'm trying to grow my bangs out. Ever since I put the that bleach in my hair, I don't know if you remember, I had a bleach in my hair. I was coloring my hair a lot last, last maybe early this year. Early, early this year, I was coloring my hair a lot. Bleach, I would put like peroxide in my hair and I would perm my hair like two weeks later and my hair fell out. And ever since then, my hair just been on just like, um, it's not growing. It's like, it's just like, it has an attitude right now. So I'm working on it and... I just want my, my bangs to grow out pretty much. Keep my sides short, but I just want my bangs to grow out. So I bought this from my beauty supply store, and I like it because it's organic um, castor oil. And castor oil, I don't like because it stinks. So this one doesn't stink, doesn't stink. Um, it has castor oil, olive oil, canola oil, hemp seed oil, um, avocado oil, sweet almond oil, green tea green tea extract and chamomile oil and I've been using this now for a good three four weeks I really like it it's not too greasy that's why I'm including it in my favorite because it's not greasy I don't, I don't like my hair to look greasy because I have a short hair so I like it I use it maybe every, maybe every other day or so and I just moisturize it in my hair also, that's healthier and I think it's this that's why I want to share it $3.99 love it this one is supposed to promote hair growth, um, treat scalp infections, and condition your hair. Is the the ordinary? Um, as as y'all know, I break out really bad when I do, and when I do, I break out into like I get cystic pimple, and uh, the last one I had it was so bad it lasted like two weeks. It finally is going away, and if you look, you see the mark is still there, and I don't try to conceal too much because I feel like when I conceal it looks worse so I just like a little bit conceal and then put a little bit of you know setting powder or whatever but anyway guys this one is called the peeling solution and it's very if you're sensitive skin don't use it guys but if your skin is like like mine I have not so sensitive it takes it but it does tingle at first so I bought this I use this this is my second or third time using it because it's very potent. So what I do is, after I wash my face, um, I use the same um, container, I mean dropper, but I don't let it touch my, my skin. So I just put it on, rub it in, let it sit for like 15 minutes. The first time you use it, it's going to tingle. It was $7, I think, or $8, but it was less than 10 bucks. But this is amazing. If, you're, if you have like dark skin, like pigment like you know hyperpigmentation you want to use it because it does help um like I said it's very um strong so try to use it maybe once you know do a little patch test first before you use it that's all I want to say I'm gonna go fast now I'm talking too much um another thing that I like I use this at night after my shower my bath whatever I take is this Tahari smells amazing this one is a tropical paradise body mist I got it from TJ Maxx and it was $6.99 no I got it from Marshalls and it was $6.99 and it smells so good Tahari it smells so good I mean so good $6.99 I gotta do a fragrance update too I'm gonna put that in my fragrance update. That's how, that's how much I love the scent. Okay, what am I up to now? Okay, I'm up to skincare. Another skincare that I wanted to share. This is from Herno Laszlo. I believe that's that's how you say the name. It's a pink one. This is pink. I hope you can see it. Pink, pink. Um, it's the Foaming Cleanse Mousse. Hydra Therapy Foaming Cleanse. Love this. Doesn't dry up my skin. Um, my skin like it. It gives me, it doesn't give me a dry, because you know how sometimes in the winter time your skin gets real dry? It doesn't do that. My skin like this. I've been using this now, I would say about a good three weeks as well. 
Uh, I just try to buy new things and try it and see if my skin like it. If I don't like it, then I'll either give it away or sell it on Mercari. That's where I sell my other part of my stuff as well. Like my skincare stuff, like I don't use, um, I'll sell it on Mercari. So I really do like it. It's a pink one. And I got this in Sephora. I will link everything below, I promise you guys. Okay, this is the last um, beauty, beauty, and then I have one fashion, and then we're done. That was fast. Okay, this is a Tom Ford Bear lip. I'm wearing it now. This is the, probably the only thing I put on when I was leaving my job. It's called Bear, and it's from Tom Ford. Yes, I will spend a good, even $50 on, or more, on a good lipstick. I'm sorry, because... Especially me, like I like nudes and I like pinks. And I'll do a red, of course, but those are the colors that I really like my go-to lippies. So I like to buy um, expensive lipsticks because, yeah. So this is called Bear from Tom Ford. And let me do a little swatch. If you like a good bear, I don't know if you can see it. If you like a good nude, I say try this from Tom Ford because it's a perfect nude. I don't know if you can see what I'm wearing, but it's a very pretty nude. Um, yeah, and it's very moisturizing too. That's another thing. Um, with Tom Ford lip, lip, lipsticks, they're very moisturizing. So you're not like, you know, it's winter. So you're not like, oh, my lips is chapped. No, it's, it moisturizes your lips as well. And of course, the packaging is just beautiful. Okay, last but not least, um, I wore these boots once, but I'm gonna tell you, I got these from Neiman Marcus. Um, I think I got them the ending of May, maybe early June. And they look like this is the box. This is the box. He said, Laurent. He said, he said, he said Laurent, why, I just still say YSL, even though they, what you say, he said Laurent. But I bought these boots, and let me show you guys, you're going to love, you're going to thank me later, and you're going to, anyway, my battery, my, my camera battery died, so I had to recharge it real quick. But let me go back to what I was saying to end this favorites. Um, I would say if you're busy, if you're a new mom, whatever, whatever the circumstances, situation is, I say these boots are so worth it. Because not only that they're high quality, quality, comfortable, durable, everything in one. They look like this. I just started wearing them, that's why I'm showing you them. Because, like I said, I bought them like maybe late May, early June. I didn't wear them, I wore them like twice to, twice already and I got so many compliments and I like them because they're simple they don't look like anything but you know that they're good quality so yeah they're just simple they just say the Yves Saint Laurent in the bottom and they're just comfortable they are so comfortable and the fact that they're wide like if you have thick calf they stretch that's, a, that's, a, that's another plus um, and they're just sexy. Like you could still look, oh, you could still look sexy um, in the winter. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people feel like, oh, winter time you can't really get dressed up. But if you got a nice coat, your nice bag, um, some good quality boots, they don't have to be Saint Laurent because I paid. Yeah, they were $5.99 on sale. But my point is, you can buy Michael Court, whatever you like. As long as they're good quality leather, boots, and, you know, nice and sleek. But these are just my favorites. I'm just including it in my favorites because I'm big on bath. But anyway, guys, I want to share that with you guys. And thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media. And because I'm always ranting. Yes, I do. Because, yeah, people get on my nerves. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, I am done. I'm going to upload this either tonight or tomorrow um yeah guys thank you for watching Mwah.